Welcome to the J.R. Hendrick Texan Night, a podcast that deals with the early life of yours truly, and now, narrating the story, Jimmy. <sighs> 1 a.m. After a rip-roaring drunk, Jim wakes up in his hotel suite that he's sharing with his friend Claude. His... Uh, a high price call girl, uh, Willa, is at his side. He turns on the news, but there's not much really to hold his interest. He feels bad about his last interaction with JR, even if he is still curious with Betsy. One thirty p.m. J.R. wakes up after several hours of sleep after he had dinner at Salvador's Pizza with Walt Merrill. He had gone home and gone straight to bed. He goes out into the courtyard and sits on the bench. Charlie Nation follows him. Man, your father is such a chore, Charlie said. Man, I'm sorry all he put you through. I'll tell you something. I'm not sure I ever really want to talk to him again. I don't want to talk to Mama either. Thing is, they enable Kyle because Kyle was their favorite. No one makes me mad, you know. Your mom, your mom, uh, your mom enables your dad, and enables your brother, Kyle, leaving you holding the bag. Dang straight, Jarrah said. You know, next year I'm thinking about not even coming back to the ranch for spring break. Think I'm just going into the house in Gainesville. Me, Ken, and maybe you. Ken ain't the guy I want to know. Charlie said. I was thinking about maybe you should bring Jim Bob Horton along. Jim Bob Horton is quirky, Jarrah said. He's unreliable. Don't worry about him, man. I'll whip him into shape. He just seems to be the guy to know. He agrees more with my personality. All right then, Charlie, Jarrah said. 2.15 a.m. Jim is drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes like it's going out of style, trying to get over his hangover. He realizes sometime today, preferably around lunchtime, he wants to make up to J.R. about all, all the stuff that's happened. 6 a.m. J.R. is in the mansion chapel, reading his uh, Bible and devotional. 8.20 a.m. At the Rayburn House Building main hearing room, J.R. is testifying before the House Small Business Committee. He discusses the economic care package which has been attack, attached to welfare reform. He's asking committee members to move to sever the package from welfare reform and present it in its own bill. Twelve PM JR is summoned to the family dining room to have a hamburger dinner with his father. <sighs> Look, I screwed up, okay? Jim said. Well, from what I know, I think I can forgive you, Jerry said. We middle aged dinosaurs tend to bite, Jim said. So, what do you know? Well, 
still doing some more research. But as soon as I find something out, Daddy, I promise, I'll let you know. You're a good kid. Jim said. One PM JR is meeting with John Gardens to talk about budget logistics. There was a bad disagreement between JR and Charlie, and so John had to do their best to calm them both down. Four p uh, 2 p.m. JR is in the side room at the front of the mansion getting a haircut through a barber named Luigi that his dad had hired for the occasion to cut his hair and give him a good shave. Four p.m. JR is in the mansion library with Debbie Castellano going through career opportunities. JR is interested in politi political communications with an eye towards government government relations. Six PM. Jim and Blake Carter, Cousin Joe, and JR go out to the limousine to meet Andrew House at Lou's Barbecue in Arlington, Virginia. 8.30. No, not right. Wait. 6.30 p.m. In the restaurant back room, the men talk. So i tell you something, Jim said. My boy found out today that Louisiana Congressman Elaine Renee Pierce uh, has something to say about our economic care package, Jim said. <sighs> Elaine Renee Pierce is a waffling congressman, a congresswoman, Carol said. She voted against NAFTA, but strangely enough, she voted for the Family Medical Leave Act. Well, you know, his mother, my wife, has always been wanting to do some politicking. I found out that uh, Mrs. Pierce lives in Chevy Chase, Potomac, not far, so I'm thinking I'll next few days send Betsy over after do the political mama bear. I tell you what, I don't know about her, Andrew House said. Here's the thing, she's a moderate, and so that, that can present a problem. Now, whatever you do, you guys, please handle uh, Elaine Renee Pierce with kid gloves, like Carter said. She's too conservative to be a Democrat, but too moderate to be a Republican. Eight AM JR I'm mean, Jim Blake Carter, cousin Joe and JR get into the limousine and Jim has them go through the scenic route from Arlington, Virginia to there to back to the mansion in Chevy Chase Potomac. Welcome to the I hope you enjoy listening to J.R. Hendrick Texan Consort. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the adventure. It's J.R. Hendrick saying until next time, get ready for the rest of the story. It gets interesting from here. Take care, you guys.